Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the glossy black mug mock-up in Photoshop. So first you're going to want to be using this layers panel here. So if you don't see the layers panel, go to window and then click on layers to bring it up. And then you just want to click the arrow next to the black mug layer. And then click the arrow next to the uh, black mug layer with the mask. And then to add your design, just double click the thumbnail icon in the design dash mug layer. And this is just going to open up a smart object where you can copy and paste your design. To do that, go to File, Open. And then find your design off the computer. And then go to Select All. And then edit copy and click back on the smart object tab and then go to edit paste and you might need to size this up or down a little so to do that go to edit free transform and then just click and drag the corners dragging into size it down or out to size it up. Um, in older versions of Photoshop you used to have to hold down the shift key to keep it from getting distorted. So if you see it getting distorted, um, just go to edit and then undo and do the opposite of whatever you were doing, whether that's holding down the shift key or not holding it down. And then once you've got it sized about right you can kind of move it into place just by clicking and dragging. And I'm just going to hit enter once it's OK. And then you just want to save the smart object once it's done transforming. So to save it, go to File, Save. And once it's done saving and updating, then I can click the little X here to close it. I'm going to close the original graphics too. And you'll see it put it on the mug for us just like that. And there's a layer here that has a little bit of shading to kind of add some slight highlights and shadows over the design. Um, it shows up more if, say, you had a, a background behind your design. If you want to turn that off, you can just click the eye icon next to the shading dash mug layer, and that'll turn it off. You could also click on the layer and click the down arrow next to opacity, and drag the slider to the left to make the effect a little more subtle. And you can adjust the shadows underneath the mug here. To do that, just click the arrow next to the shadows under mug layer. And then just click either of the shadows. And then just click the down arrow next to opacity. And drag the slider to the left to make the shadow lighter. Or the right to make it darker. And you could also add your own background. To do that, just go to File, Open and then find a background image off your computer. And then we're just going to go to select all again and then edit copy. And this time we just want to click back on the tab with the mock-up. And then go to edit paste. It may add the background in front of the other layers. If it does that, just click on the background layer and drag it underneath the other layers. And I'm going to turn the existing background off by clicking the eye icon next to the backgrounds layer. You'll see it added the background just that easily. 
And that's all there is to editing the glossy black mug mockup in Photoshop. Please message me at melissabmockups.com if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos. And as always, this mockup and other mockups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you, and have a great day.